this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hello everybody, Mike here from Mike Pemmons Gaming Room bringing you another video, this time of Metal Gear 5 Ground Zeroes on the PlayStation 4. Now the reason for this being it's recently gone on sale for the Easter sale. Uh, they knocked it down to a fiver. So I thought that fiver's worthy of um, my curiosity. I mean obviously we've all heard the stories before about this and uh, with it being basically a glorified demo and whatnot, but I thought a fiver was worth have a look. Uh, have a confession to make this isn't my first look at it as you can see we have the six percent completion ratio i've already played through this once i did record that and i did do a video for you guys to show my first impressions of it but something went wrong with the, the recording and it all went tits up and it was all very bad and see initially this was meant to be going out yesterday uh, this going up on uh bank holiday friday before easter or Good Friday, I believe some people call it, as it's called. And, uh, yeah, it all went tits up. So it might go on the first, but it's going up on the Friday. So it's the bank holiday Friday. I have my beer. I have my controller. And I have just knocked the microphone. And I figured, why not have another look at Metal Gear Ground Zeroes. Uh, and I'll give you a little opinion about what I think as I go through. Which one we begin? Do you want to continue? Yes. Uh, from what I can gather, the basic story is I think this continues after Metal Gear Solid. Is it free Snake Eater? Or four? So uh, free? As Big Boss? I think. I have to be honest, I haven't played a Metal Gear since Metal Gear Solid 2 before playing this. Because when be me being a, a, an Xbox adopter at the early stages when they first came out as well as obviously the 360 uh, I never played any of the other Metal Gears other than Metal Gear Solid 2 on the original Xbox I haven't bothered with the HD collection yet which I probably should it's pretty cool uh, I do like the Metal Gear games I really got into this uh, I have to admit uh, I thought it was a just double check the volumes off on the TV and I will turn it down on the headset better. I uh, thought it's a brilliant looking game. I uh, quite enjoyed this. My problem being is that my first playthrough did only take me must be about two hours, which I thought it's just no good. Not for a retail game. This is a demo of the upcoming Metal Gear game, which I must admit I'm looking forward to seeing now. This did do the job of kind of whetting my appetite for um, Phantom Pain. So I'll be buying that when that comes out. That looks like it could be good fun. So yep, yeah, uh, this continues where I think, from what I can gather, Big Boss has created some kind of army or something. It's like a, a privatised army on some oil rig offshore somewhere. And two of his peeps have been kidnapped. It's all very... There's a whole convoluted Hideo Kojima style story to it all, uh, which you can read through you on the game. Everything. everything. Don't worry. This is the creepiest kid in the world. Yes. You earned it. Ah. Yeah, the stone. That just just is just feels wrong. Having that audio jack stuck in your chest. How's it feel to play the traitor? Shut your face. No more war games. You're a real man now, soldier. Chico! Young Volatine Snake's private army. Ugh. Can't be good for that. Give my regards to your boss when you get home. He knows he's gonna be rescued. Rats. Nasty dogs. So, yeah, I said my first walkthrough took me two hours, and that wasn't with me being efficient. I don't 
get me wrong, I'm not good at this game at all. I got caught several times, I died a few times, uh, I got turned around. Uh, I did make a pig's ear of it, to be fair. Uh, and it's literally took me two hours. So not the longest game. There are, oh, there is, should I say, stuff to do after that. I mean, you get, uh, once on your first completion, you get a list of side missions to, you can go on to achieve. There's, like, training missions. So there is extra content in there. Uh, don't get me wrong. And I imagine with all that content, you could probably get a decentish amount of gameplay out of this. She survived. She was rescued by a Belizean fisherman who found her drifting in the Caribbean. The Caribbean. So what's the plan? Silence her before we're compromised? No. I've got something else in mind. Go ahead, get her. Friends at Cypher suspect Toss could be a double agent. She's being held for interrogation at a camp on the southern tip of Cuba. Black Cuba. Side. Nice. A slice of American pie on communist soil and out of U.S. legal jurisdiction. The upcoming inspection uh, of the base has to be connected somehow. Yeah, especially we're going to go in and rescue two people. The UN's nuclear inspection. That kid you just saw. My guess is and they're pass. trying to corroborate Pass's leak. We're an army without a nation. Word of our capabilities gets out, and we'll have the whole world out to shut us down. Having an American private intelligence agency involved is bad news. Cypher's the ones who sent Paz to us in the first place. She knows their true nature. Right. Paz is our only link to Cypher. If she's still alive, we need her on our side. So, hey, uh, depressing music at the beginning. And a freaky boss guy. Yeah, I was saying, yeah, there is extra content, don't get me wrong. Uh, but the main story it's in is stupidly short. Uh, it's a stupidly, um, I'd say a small area. You can, but there's plenty of places in the area to visit. This is pretty cool. I want one of these gadgets. Don't know why I want one. I've got no use for one whatsoever. But it's cool if I want one. Skullface, commander of the XOF, identity unknown. This pirate crackdown's a go. Move. So as you know, that guest, he's the bad guy. Oh, I say bad. It's kind of very grey area when you think. I mean, Big Boss is running a private army. Oh, good. Mm. Oh, yeah, like I said, there's huge gaps in my Metal Gear knowledge. Uh, obviously, I've read up on stuff and get the general gist of things, but not having actually played full Metal Gear games since Metal Gear 2. Plus, Rising doesn't count. So who's the other target? That would be Chico. He's being held in the same area as Pass. Last radio contact was 40 hours ago. Find them both. Bring them back alive. Okay. To the compound from the South Cliff. So Secure I what? Chico and Eight, Boss, then report back from the Eight minutes in to the intro. Bye-bye. Same logo, wrong way around. We'll send a chopper from across Fox's the Cuban direct border. opposite to me. You should be back at Mother Base in time for lunch. You'll probably just miss our guests. The only catch is you go in solo. The politically sensitive nature of the mission meets backup. So yeah, uh, this isn't going to be a full play for it. Well, it doesn't take that long. I figured I'd just give you a quick showdown of what the game looks like and how it plays. Uh, I said it does look like a decent game, and I'm looking forward to the Phantom Pain. The videos I saw of that look pretty impressive as well. And it's a nice break uh, from the shooters that I tend to play quite often. Uh, although I'm still playing that Overlord, which I'm quite enjoying. Uh, 
Got a few recent purchases, which you'll see there and up here. But at the moment, still concentrating on Overlord. Which is quite a few. Uh, a cool game. So, yeah, we'll show you a bit of the game. And have a little random chat and rant about it. And any other gibberish I come out with. Snake, a former hero, once known by the codename Big Boss. And it's key for Sutherland. I've got plenty of lens flare in this game. Don't you worry, if you if you wanted your share of lens flare, it's in this. Hate lens flare. Hideo Kojima. This is your groovy gadget that you've got. It shows you things like your map and Decoy pods are being held in an old unused part of the compound. Get inside and head northeast. Gotcha. So here we are. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to have a stun pistol. You go any further, use your automatic rifle. On the area. Binoculars? Press the call button to get more intel. This is quite cool. With binoculars, uh, like I see you can zoom in on things. Your binoculars are equipped with a directional microphone. You should be able to listen in on whatever they're pointed at. Problem being is nobody around here is talking to each other. But it's still a cool, nifty gadget. I don't know if it's been in previous games, but I do like the fact that you can listen in on what people are saying. Ooh, look at these two. They're going to chat. All quiet. Those new guys. You see their choppers? Who are they with? These me, man. Green berets, seals. What's the matter? Those ain't no jarhead birds, I can tell you that. Some paramilitary setup? Uh, some of the guys are saying... You know what? Best we just drop it, right? Uh, sure. Keep low. You can check the controls on the pause screen. Yeah. Also on the pause screen, you got yeah. You can call in a chopper, logs, walkman, which plays cassettes, which you you pick up, which you find throughout the game. And uh, we got map. So that's another cool thing. Uh, you can mark people. Oops. Head for the old prison. You'll find the targets there. So I like to say I'll do that. And that marks him and him. So they show up on the map. Don't know if there's anyone else around I can see. Yep, oh, there's one. Six of forty enemies marked. Silenced. Oh dear, that means someone can see me. Get out of the way. We don't want that. Uh, yes, yeah, stealth is my strong point. I've done this, like I said, I've walked through this once already. I did manage to sneak up behind him last time. I don't know if it's worth. Shooting his light? How do you reckon that would alert him? It probably would, wouldn't it? I mean, there's 40 guys. Come on, jog on. Start looking the other way. Sneak up behind this dude. I mean, the sound and effects in this are pretty cool, like I say. I mean, you look at the rain effect and. The action button. Thanks. Uh, like I said, rain effects are always quite cool, and it's always something that people want to show off in video games. The first thing they do is do water or rain effects. I always find that quite funny. But it's a good way of judging, I suppose. A uh, right here, I can interrogate him. Spit it out. <laughs> 
And again. And usually don't say anything. Now usually, I suppose you meant to stun them and be friendly, but seeing the guys wake back up and cause me a huge headache later on, I'm just going to kill them. Make it a lot quicker. Because I'm like that. I have a bit of a git. Jeep, which I'm sure it's hinting that there must be something I can do with it because last time it kept driving around. I just kept ignoring it. Yeah, pick the old locks. And we're in. Now head east to the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. So Eyes open, not. boss. R3 is peak. See, I missed that last time. Uh, during uh, the, the first video. I missed that actual little hint, so I never peeked at anything. Which probably would have made things a lot easier. L2 and R2, cover attack. Ah. Oh, there's a dude there. See him? I'm not going to get him. I don't think I need to. If you ready your weapon while crawling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move Oh, faster. no. What am I doing? <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you seen? I could have just got up, that would have been easier, but not nearly as much fun. So yes, it is a bank holiday Friday, and I believe it's Good Friday. And Good Friday is a Friday before Easter. It must be, it's not the Friday after. I don't know. But yes, it's a miserable day out. At the moment, it's all rainy and damp and... Contact me if you need advice. Perfect video game weather, really. I'm assuming the guy can't see me yet. Mm. Hide in here. I didn't even know there was an enemy in the area. That's good to know. So. Oh, that means someone can see me. Go. Get up, you dick. Ooh. Dirt. Oh, nice. Headshot. That was pure fluke. I was actually aiming for the pissing spotlight, but he didn't alert anyone. That's to be the luckiest thing ever. Last time I managed to sneak around him, but just shows what you get for being impatient. That's an achievement worthy thing, if ever. I think. Oh. What were they saying? Oh, nothing now. They're going away. Marked enemies, 9 of 37. Yeah. 37? There was 40 before. I only killed two. Ah, oh, it's because I didn't mark. No, there still should be more. I don't know. Maybe it's however many in the area. Oh, ah, that, uh, ah, of course. I think it's because certain people have left the area, like it said. So. Got to deal with that dude. Oh, I've got to deal with him after the jeep comes back. Because that jeep's on like a, a circular thing. How are we doing recording wise? 20 minutes. Oh, 
I'll extract the uh, kid. I think one will end it there. Uh, just to show the extraction thingy. Uh, we're not bothered with paths. Although could, it doesn't take that long, but I don't want to run the risk of screwing up another video because I spent hours trying to get the video right. I managed to sync up the video. Ah, oh, I'm not going to go into it. Just crazy. Where's that jeep? Coming back. I guess not. Later on it just does a circular route, but... Oh yeah, I can do the old... I don't know why it makes that robot noise, but... No, oh, peek out the window, tool. Those two. Coming over here. All right, better reload. Make oh, and I reload. Oh, sorry, reloaded. Not to worry. Stay in the shadows for now. because of the sandbags. There's two guys over there, though. Those guys are staying right away. That's good. Is he going to come back up here? I wonder if I can make a headshot from this distance. Should do, because in the last shot, it was awesome. Ah, that was cool. I found Paz. Probably shift that body. That's the old prison area. The targets are there. Oh, fudge nudge. That just went horribly wrong. I'm gonna hide up here. Ah, nuts. Have they seen me? Are they shooting at me or are they shooting where I last was? Well, that screwed up, didn't it? So much for getting through undetected. But dude's there. The kid's only there, so. Now. See if they have a comment. I'm shooting at you. If they have the common sense to uh, look up here, I'm going to say no. Can't believe he saw me. That was such a schoolboy error. So, 
I go stealth. They reload. Dude's not dead. Probably. Clearly don't want that. We're at 26 minutes. Just go away, all of you. Hey, the right pigs here, this, haven't they? Hiding up there was a stupid. I don't need to get down there, though. So, yeah, as you saw me before, I was interrogating one of the guys uh, while I was still being stealthy. Uh, they can give you all sorts of cool information, like where there's ammo. Where's he going? Uh, where there's ammo, where there's, like, um, enemy patches for the uniform so you can disguise yourself. Where there's non-lethal ammo. Some hidden in the bushes. That guy's been a complete noob. I it just glitched out. Uh, where certain prisoners are being held. So interrogating them gets you some really decent information. So it's always worth when you're not being a complete tool like me. Uh, Capturing and interrogating Marines, prisoners, whatever. But this is the entire complex, by the way, uh, for this game. Right, you guys are wandering off. That's great. You're still there. Probably deal with you. What did I just picked up? Turned primary weapon ammo. So your suppressor is worn out. That gun will be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. Oh man. I don't think I'm going to need to hide them. That suppressor's worn out. That sucks. So I'm going on to the old silent pistol now. It only stuns them, but stun might be all I need. Where's everyone else? And the silent pistol also um, doesn't. Who are you? Oh, yeah, just some dude I tagged. I'm not taking all these out because it just takes too, uh, too much time. You can do, you can rescue them all, which is quite cool. That's uh, what I did last time. So they'll start making a big noise and fuss and so really it pays to get them out but you know for the sake of this video and for the sake of time we're not going to bother for half an hour now so. huh? 
Chico, it's me. No! No! Go away! Go away! He doesn't realize that there's something like this is some kind of trick trap. Why doesn't he want to go? Knock him out, that's it. Chico, calm down. Calm down. Don't so last time when I managed to sneak in uh, into the compound without being spotted and just took the two guys out from the outside. It went a lot smoother than this, honest. It did. Chico's a bit weird with that thing in his chest. It's, I just don't get it. So yeah, when you rescue him, and then you have to go rescue Paz, which, you know, you can do stuff like jump into the back of the truck, you can sneak in, and that's what you're talking about now. No, because he did something rather mean to him. Ugh. Not gonna happen. Bolted them. Ugh. So, now, oh yeah, and they love making a load of noise when you carry them and put them down, just to make things up. I'm taking you guys with me, sorry. Get over here. Once you don't end up head first in the ocean. Dude there. About too big. Oh shit, there's two of them. No. Oh. There's nobody there. Piss off. Nobody there. Ah, hell. Shoot him. How did I miss that? Ah. Uh oh. Alright. Screw it. This person might be down, but. I'm locked up, and I've left Chico behind. <sighs> Twice. This went smooth as out last time, this bit. It really did. Yeah, because I'm not there. Get up there. I'm up there. One asleep. Two asleep. Three asleep. Four asleep. <laughs> no, I said these guards are. Yeah, don't let them do. Exactly. What I've just done. Trial failed, fastest killing of all enemies. Oh, who's that now? Gotcha. No, he's not. There's nobody here.
Why can't I activate my gun? Oh, yeah. I'll be a grenade. Shut up, kid. Where the sleepy guys go? Disappeared. Well, <laughs> that's clear because that was just a terrible extraction. You're coming with me. Shut up. Let's get out of here while we still can. I just made the like biggest pig's ear of that completely. Quit whining. They didn't. No. So. Got the studio. Now, like I said last time, you can rescue everyone. And when you rescue them, you get extra intel, which is quite cool. Uh, so they give you extra intel. And when they get back, uh, the, you find information about people being held for hostage and all sorts which you can rescue and you get more info from them so there's a lot more you can do but still there isn't enough to justify a full retail release in my opinion she's dead chico's cassette so this bit is quite cool you can do this at any time as well. Uh, select a landing point and it'll arrive. If you notice the other, there's other landing points, but it depends on the risk whether they'll show up or not. If it's too risky, they just won't land. Uh, but they're only here for a set amount of time as well, so you have to be ready to get on. Otherwise, they just bugger off, which is understandable. And there's the chopper. Get to the chopper. Four seven one eight nine two. Poor Chico. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. What's up, Morpho? So we'll get him on board and then we'll call it an end of this video and that like, would be my uh, quick look at Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Uh, Come on I gather, Phantom Pain has a lot more features, obviously it's a lot bigger game, there's a lot more to do, uh, you can upgrade your base and do all sorts like that. So that looks like it's going to be awesome and I'm looking forward to that. This was a fun game and it's... I'd say it's definitely worth a fiver of anyone's money just to play around with and enjoy and you know, try and get all the trophies and whatnot, do all the side missions, but not retail price. Right, well, we will stop that there. We call that, that's Chico Rescued. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, installed a fair few other things, all the freebies, which I might actually start doing videos on. Uh, as well as a few of the recent purchases. Uh, but yes, that was Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes on the PS4. I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. It helped me out a huge amount. And thank you to all the recent subscribers. You are all extremely awesome. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed from back in the beginning. Your support has been awesome. And um, basically, yes, thank you for watching. I want, it's greatly appreciated. So I'm going to stop rambling now. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just rambling. I'm going to say once again a big thank you for watching. And I will catch you all in the next video. See you all later. Bye.